China Cinder promises to go down as the hottest IPO of 2013, based on the number of shares that investors ordered before the launch. The firm, majority owned by China's Ministry of Finance, got swamped by requests receiving pre-launch orders totaling $65 billion. It's the first IPO anywhere by a Chinese firm specializing in the management of distressed financial assets, such as non-performing loans. So a bet on China Cinda is a bet on an increase in the number of Chinese borrowers who can't service their debts. Cinda Chairman Ho Jianhang. We are actively engaged in the company's structural reform. In general, we are confident to maintain a relatively high credit rating. Cornerstone investors who are guaranteed large chunks of stock if they buy and hold IPO shares for a period included several U.S. hedge funds and a Norwegian South Wealth Fund. Just 10 of these big institutional investors bought nearly half the stock ahead of the launch. Louis Wan of Pride Investments describes Cinda's novelty factor. We are optimistic about uh, the China's economy. When the economy is good and the recovery rate of the non-performing loans will be much better. So that will, uh, on, on the other, other, uh, in other words, the, the, the performance or the profit from managing this portfolio will be very profitable. Cinda's listing ends a seven-month absence of mega IPOs in Hong Kong, once a red-hot venue for global listings. But even with Cinda's debut today, Hong Kong still falls short of regaining the crown it once held from 2009 to 2011. It still places fourth globally at about $15 billion in total IPO volume, according to DealLogic, following New York, the Nasdaq and the London Stock Exchange. The big Hong Kong listings, though, won't stop with Cinda. China Everbright Bank is scheduled to go public on December 20th in an IPO that could surpass Cinda's. Everbright hopes to raise as much as $2.8 billion. Cinda just happened to beat Everbright to the bell in what the Hong Kong exchange hopes will become a string of billion-dollar IPOs. Kathy Yang, CCTV, Hong Kong.